Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to a new video. So before we get into the meat of this video, so I just want to share my extreme gratitude uh, with everybody's support on the new look. Anytime I change up the wheels or anything on the car, there's always this little kind of nerve wracking feeling in my mind, just, you know, people are going to like it or not. Granted, I build this car for myself. It's always nice to be supported and kind of, you know, get the feedback, the positive feedback. Uh, that I'm kind of headed in the right direction. It was definitely appreciated. Uh, I'm really, really stoked that you guys like the new look as much as I do. I still can't get over how this car looks. It looks absolutely fantastic, uh, and I'm absolutely loving the new wheels. So if you guys haven't checked out the new video, I'll link it in the top right corner for you guys. I went to pick up the wheels, ceramic coated them, and we installed them. It's kind of just my initial impression. I didn't play with the fitment or anything like that. What I want to do in this video is actually play around with the fitment a little bit. Now, these are Volk CE28 CRs club racers. Um, they are 18 by 9.5 plus 35. They fit beautifully. Just putting them on the car really don't need to do much. Um, but I'm a perfectionist and I kind of always like to dial everything in and get it to exactly where I want it. Uh, the tires that I'm running, they're Michelin Pilot Sport Cup 2s in 265 35 18s. So it's a very, very meaty, chunky tire. I'm running negative 3.5 camber all around uh, and my rear fenders are rolled. The fronts are untouched, so I don't need to do anything there since there's really not much to roll. I do not like the look of pulled fenders, so I will not be doing that. What I want to play with in this video is actually spacers. I have a set of four three millimeter spacers that actually ran on a previous set of wheels that had this exact same spec. Granted, I was running different tires. I was running Michelin AS3s, which are all seasons. Um, I still want to play with the fitment since I do have them and I think I can get them to fit a little better. So if we come around to the back, I'll show you how the rear fits, which fits very, very nice. And to be honest, I'm not really sure if the three millimeter spacer is going to work since it is fairly close, but I am going to try it because I want to exhaust all my options and make sure I'm getting the best possible fitment. Now here is the fitment in the front. There's a lot of negative camber. I am, like I said, running negative 3.5 camber, so it is aggressive, uh, especially for a street-driven car. Uh, but this is not my daily, so running a little bit more camber is not really a concern of mine. Uh, since again, I don't I don't daily drive this, and I'm not concerned about tire wear as much as I would if I dailyed it. But uh, the three millimeter spacer in the front at least will definitely push it out uh, just the slightest that will kind of help the fitment a little bit make them not look as tilty <laughs> not make them not look as cambered and if we put the spacers on and i still find it to be a little too uh, cambered out i may uh, dial out the camber a little bit most likely i'll just leave it alone we'll just play with the spacers and see how that looks but there is that option obviously to play with the camber now here is the front of the rear fitment so you guys get an idea. I'll go around to the passenger side as well so you can get an idea of the rear passenger, which is obviously the same as the driver. Um, but as you can see, it's nice and flush. I love, love, love a meaty, chunky tire. I do not like stretch tires. I can appreciate those looks, but if for my own car, I always like the meatier look. Um, we just saw the passenger front as I just showed you. We'll come along into the driver front so you can get an idea as well. So I do think adding those three millimeter spacers is definitely going to help with the overall look and get it exactly where I want it. Um, I, again, I'm a perfectionist. I love playing around with this stuff. This is one of my favorite parts about getting new wheels and getting a new setup. It's just kind of perfecting it and dialing it in. Now, as of right now, I do not scrub. I do not rub anywhere. Not in the front, not in the rear, not on big dips, not driving hard. A lot of people ask me that question very, very often and I do not rub, believe it or not, I don't. Granted, I'm the only one that drives in the car, so I'm sure if I had a full car of adults in the rear and the uh, pa in the passenger seat, I'm sure I would rub in a few places, but honestly, nobody comes in the car with me. It's just me. It's just my pleasure car that I use on the weekends and stuff, so I'm not concerned about putting other people in this car at this moment. So if you do plan on using this as a daily and you carry around friends and family and whatnot, or passengers, I should say, um, you know, this setup may not be for you because it may rub uh, with a much more weight in the car. But as the only person in the car in the driver's seat, don't rub anywhere, front, rear, nothing. All right, so that's enough chatting about the current fitment. Let's go back to the garage. Let's jack up the car, get the three millimeter spacers on and see what it looks like. All right, guys, so we are back in the garage and what I'm going to do is throw on the three millimeter spacers. I was showing you the fitment earlier outside. Uh, but here it is again, just quickly. Here's the rear. The rear does look really good. I honestly don't think I'm going to put one on in the back. My main focus is to try to get the uh, front to bump out a little bit. And I think that three millimeter spacer is going to be perfect. So like I said, we're going to start on the front first, see what we think. Um, and then maybe we'll try uh, one of the rears. But honestly, these tires are so nice. 
and I really don't want to mess them up. So, uh, cause I know if I do run that three millimeter spacer, there is a chance that it could rub uh, on the fender. Even though my fenders are indeed rolled, pushing it out a little bit may scrub on the uh, sidewall of the tire and I don't want to mess them up. So I might not do it in the rear, but. So the spacers that we are going to be using, uh, I got these a while ago when I had my Anki RS05RRs. Uh, they are three millimeter spacers. Uh, I got them from Mach V Motorsports. Uh, I'll leave a link below if you guys are interested, but kind of worn off, but there you go. Sort of says Mach V, can't really see it at the top. Uh, but they, they're five by 100 and also five by 114. So either bolt pattern works and you can see three millimeter. Uh, I have four of these. I'm just going to use two right now um, for the fronts to see how that works. So let's go ahead. Let's get the front driver wheel off, throw the spacer on and see what we think. All right, guys, so I am finished. I got both uh, of the fronts done. Three millimeter spacers are on, and it is a very, very minor, minor detail, but it pushes it out ever so slightly to give it a really, really perfect fitment. Now, I probably can dial out uh, some of the negative camber if I really wanted to, but honestly, in person, this is absolutely perfect. And I know it's not gonna rub. There is plenty of clearance. Um, I mean, there was zero rubbing beforehand. Um, but I can easily tell it's going to tuck up nicely uh, into the fender and we're not going to have any issues. Let's go around to the uh, passenger side just so I can show you. I mean, it's exactly the same, but I have the light on over here so you guys can check it out a little bit better, uh, but fits really, really nice. Um, now, this is not fully settled just because I just took it off the um, jack, but looks perfect. I'm really, really happy with that fitment. So technically, these are 18 by nine and a half plus 35. So we added the three millimeter spacers. So now they're plus 32. Now the rears, I did not bother with right now. Uh, I just kind of want to see how the front is, see if I like it, see if I experience any rubbing or anything like that. Uh, Cause the rears, like I mentioned, fit really, really well. Uh, so I really don't think I need those spacers, but I may throw them on another day just to see, but I'm just really happy with the front. Uh, fitment as well as the rear without the spacer. So I don't want to get too crazy with it and uh, make it impractical to drive and just be rubbing and everything. Plus these tires are so nice and I don't want to mess them up. So I'm going to hold off on the rear spacers for now. But yeah, I mean, this is the exact kind of setup uh, that I ran with the Weds. I just ran the three millimeter spacers up front uh, on the Yankees. I ran three millimeter spacers on front and rear. Uh, but either way, super happy. Uh, I also took a little bit of a break to wrap up the weds. As you can see right here, they are ready to go. They're headed out to California tomorrow. So, so long weds. You have served me well. Hope the new owner enjoys them as much as I did. They're beautiful wheels. The tires are pretty much brand new. I mean, there's only, I think I mentioned, there's only like 2,500 miles or so on this entire setup. So my guy, Dan, who bought these, thank you. I appreciate it. I hope you enjoy them. They're headed out tomorrow. So uh, you'll see them soon. So really quick, before I end this video, a lot of people actually asked me if I was going to Wicked Big Meat out in Connecticut. Initially, I wasn't gonna go. It's about a three and a half to four hour drive each way for me. I wasn't really thinking about it. It's just too much. It's on a Sunday and everything. So I was like, oh, I'm not gonna make it. But after I got the wheels on and after I saw the support and everything, and I was like, you know what? 
I haven't been to a really good car show or car meet in a long, long time. Uh, so I got a ticket. I'm headed there. I uh, put my entry in to see if I can get into the show. So I'll let you guys know if they accept me. Um, if so, that'd be pretty cool. I really kind of hope that it would be in the show. Uh, just so everyone can get a good look at the car and everything since I believe the show is indoors and everything else is on the outside. I think I'm not hundred percent sure, but either way I will be headed to wicked big meat. So I hope to see you guys there. The car will be there. I will be driving it. I'm not going to trailer it. I was thinking about picking up a trailer and enclosed trailer to drive down with the truck and put the STI in there. But I figured what the heck. This car is beautiful. I want to drive it. Let's go put some miles on it. So, so I just want to let you guys know I will be there. I hope to see you guys kind of put some faces to names. And I thought it'd be cool to kind of show the car off. It's been a very long time, like I mentioned. Um, and I figured it was time to get this car out of the garage and let people check it out uh, and kind of just walk around and see some cool Subarus and some cool cars. So I will be there. I hope to see you. But as for this video, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I uh, love the spacers, really, really like the fitment. If you have any questions at all about the spacers, I'll leave a link below for them. They're a great set. I'd had no problems running them for many years now. So yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Any questions, ask them below. In the meantime, keep it clean, keep it simple, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.